Rabbi Zalman Mendelssohn, and I serve as the Chabad rabbi for the uh, state of Wyoming. Uh, there are uh, about 3,500 Chabad Jewish centers all across the world. And over here, we try and service, to the best of our ability, Jewish people and generally curious people, people interested in Judaism throughout our state. And this is our sixth annual menorah lighting ceremony that we're doing here in the state capitol building. And every year it grows, it becomes more beautiful. There's greater participation and always a, a beautiful event. So thank you all very, very much for being here with us. I'd like to begin with a story. I say that there was a rabbi, priest, and a minister. They were having a discussion together. And they were trying to figure out when does life begin. So the priest says, begins at conception. The minister says, it begins at six weeks into the pregnancy. And the rabbi says, it begins when the last kid leaves to college and takes the dog with him. <laughs> I am very pleased to be here together with my wonderful family. My wife, Raisi, is here with us and our four children. I'm very grateful that they came, did a long drive. It's really a long way from Jackson to get here, which is where we are based. And so it's a very special thing to have them here with us. Not every year are they able to join us, but this year they are, and so I'm very grateful. I'd also like to make a bunch of thank yous to some people who have made this event possible and some of the uh, people that are with us that have joined us for several years or have generally been an amazing help to make this event possible. And I'm going to ask if everyone can just please hold their applause if I go through all of the different people who are, who are represented and are helping, here, helping us this, this afternoon. First and foremost, um, we have with us, we are extremely grateful to both uh, the governor and the first lady, Governor Matt and First Lady Carol Mead, who are here with us. Thank you both very much for joining us. Please come on up. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you. This is the second year that the First Lady is with us, and so thank you for being here again. <clears throat> I'd also like to thank the Office of Secretary of State Max Maxfield who has always helped make this event possible. He puts a lot of effort into it. And uh, we have with us this uh, afternoon Deputy, Deputy Secretary of State, Pat Arp. Thank you for being here with us, representing, representing Max Maxfield. Thank you. We have with us State Auditor Cynthia Cloud, who's with us, been here with us for many years. Thank you, Cynthia, very much for being here with us. Commissioner Troy Thompson, back there. Thank you, Troy, very much for being here with us. I'd like to thank um, a, a real staunch supporter and someone who's been here year after year, a beautiful person, uh, the mayor of Cheyenne, Richard, and his lovely wife, Diane Kaysen. Thank you both very much for being here with us. There are some, several other uh, representatives that I, I notice here um, that I'd like to, to thank. I'd like to thank Representative uh, Floyd, who's here with us. This is, I think, not your first year being with us. So. Thank you very much. Please stand up. Thank you all very much. Thank you for being here. Some, the offices of uh, Senator uh, John Barrasso, uh, his representative is here with us, and so uh, we'd like to thank Jamie Gronsky for being here with us, standing in the back over here. And then the offices of uh, Congressman Cynthia Lummis is here with us as well, Tucker Fagan her Chief of Staff. Thank you very much, Tucker, for being here with us. There are many people that make this event possible and put a lot of effort into it. Um, first and foremost, I'd like to thank Joe McCord. He's really an amazing person who's put a lot of effort year after year. Where's Joe? Thank you, Joe, very much. He, he takes care of this beautiful building and makes sure that this event is always uh, possible. And thank you for, for all of your help. I'd like to thank Opal Hunt. I'd like to thank several people from Mount Sinai Congregation, the local synagogue here in town who make this event possible. Uh, I'd like to thank the president of Mount Sinai, Dave Lerner, who's here with us. Thank you, Dave, very much for being here with us. I'd like to also thank Marv Wolf, who's, who's been a help year after year and always puts up the beautiful menorah and puts so much effort into this event. 
I'd like to thank Tom Ross, Zoli Gans, and Helen Zygmunds for being here with us. They are unbelievable members of this community, uh, a living testament of what it means to live with love and happiness after the atrocities of the Holocaust. We're eternally grateful that you guys join us every year for this. Thank you, Zolan and Heli. I'd like to thank a true inspiration and someone who, who doesn't stop, someone who has energy forever, nonstop, Vanda Eddington. Thank you, Vanda, for all of your help you put into this event. I'd like to thank Ken Horn, who's videoing this event today, uh, who's doing this as a volunteer uh, uh, without, without any pay, just for, to help out with this community event. And we're very grateful for you doing that for us. Uh, Ken, thank you for being here with us. Of course, I'd love to thank the parents, the teachers, the staff, and the children, especially, of the Cheyenne Montessori School. First and foremost, Katie Mordhost for, for helping us with this, and Kate Bigelow, and Elena Blakey, Mona jo uh, Jadagosh for, uh, for being here with us and helping with this event. Thank you guys so very much. We really appreciate your participation. This is not the first time, and we always love the kids lovely voices and singing. Um, I'd also like to thank the Cheyenne Youth Symphony, Jaylene Willett, for all of your help in making this event possible, and the 67th Army Band, who's here with us from the National Guard, Staff Sergeant Rob Dara, Commander John Phillips, and Captain Mike uh, Zeschke, for all of your help in making this event possible and for participating. You guys are awesome, thank you. Please put your hands together and give a round of applause for all of those who make this event possible. Thank you, thank you, thank you.